Well, oh, I have a special update video for you tonight. Not exactly sure where to begin. <laughs> I place this at my job again. When I moved, uh, I did basically most of the work myself. I did all the basement. In my bedroom, I did the shelter outside. I think the biggest issue was the others didn't really realize how long it was going to take and how much work it was going to be. So, aside from my own stuff, I had to help out there. I drove the truck and over two days I didn't eat and I didn't get any sleep. <laughs> so, when we finally got everything here and settled, I figured it's going to take a while to recover from it because it, it took so much out of me physically. And for the first week, I didn't do anything other than sleep or sit at the computer. I just, I had no energy to do anything. It took me a while to recover, but I never really have. Up to this point, it is now November something. Seventh, I think. Oh, watch it right there. Yeah, November seventh. So, nine months. And I still haven't recovered from the move. Now, normally during the summer, or late summer anyways, is when I get my energy boost, my remission period, and I do what I can to get ready for winter. And that's generally when I do most of my big projects, outdoor projects. And it usually ends catastrophically. <laughs> I usually have a power failure, and when my illness comes back, it comes back with a vengeance, and it's always worse. Well, I never really got a remission period this year. Uh, like I say, I, I haven't recovered from the move. I, I had no energy all summer. So a lot of stuff got neglected. And this piece of crap here, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. So as you can see, I'm starting to work on it now. I'm trying to figure out how to fix the frame. There's so limited space in there to do anything. And in order to get it welded, I have to take all the plastic panels off, and I'm not going to do that. So i got to figure that out. i got to fix the controller properly. <laughs> oh, you got to see the video that's coming. I know why the controller failed in this thing, and I know why other people are having them fail. It's, of all the stupid design issues that this thing's got, it's, it's mind-boggling. Like, it's, it's, I got no words. It's just stupid. So I gotta fix that. So hopefully I'll never have to change the controller again. But, here's the thing. I was out here working on this last night. I was, well, not really working on it. I was taking measurements. Because in order to put this heat sink in properly, I have to flip it over and I need to countersink the, the screws. So I had to get different screws for this and longer because instead of being right at the bottom, it's now at the top. So they had to be longer. And I was out here taking measurements. Uh, how long screws I need, and uh, steel bars that I want to put across for support for fixing the frame. And while I was doing that, I thought I had a stroke. And to be honest, I may have. I, I'm not sure at this point. But I was working away, and all of a sudden my left side just stopped. And my leg went limp, my arm went limp down I went. Now leading up to this, for the last two or three weeks, uh, 
I'm not, I just haven't been right. Uh, I'm not sure how to really explain it. If you're afraid of heights and you're on the top of a tall ladder or on top of a building and you look over the edge, that feeling you get, that's how I was feeling like, all the time. So I've been really weak all summer anyway, so I didn't really read too much into it. I thought maybe I wasn't eating enough, so I started eating enough at, or eating more and that didn't make any difference. So anyways, this happened and I had absolutely no control over my left side. I had feeling I could feel myself land on him and yeah, that hurt. But there's absolutely nothing I could do. I could not move at all I'm on my left side. And the scary thing is, strokes do run in our family on both sides, mother and father. Um, and my dad had a couple strokes a few years ago. Well, actually, I guess 18 years ago now. I just didn't realize it was so long. At least two. I think he had three, but I know he had two for sure. Uh, a year apart. So, you know, it's, it's, in, it's in my mind. And that was my first thought. But I'm laying on the ground here. Like, I landed on here and then kind of bounced onto the, the bottom there. But I'm just kind of laying here thinking, well, what just happened? And I'm trying to piece everything together. And my left arm just started twitching a little bit. And gradually, it came back. So I'm still, still really weak from it. Uh, left and right are even. Now I get the same weakness, the same stiffness, same inability, I guess you could say, in, in both sides evenly. But I'm laying here, and I'm just trying to think, well, what do I do now? And I was this close to calling 911 when my arm started twitching. So I just kind of just waited for a bit just to see what would happen. And I say just gradually it came back. So I don't know how strokes work that way. I know that there's different levels and I know they can kill you. And I know they can permanently change your abilities. But I'm not sure. Do they happen and go away? So what I'm kind of reading into this because everything's so much worse now I'm thinking this may be a new form of power failure for me one that I haven't experienced yet and it's going to change a lot bike rides are now out of the question I cannot have that happen while I'm on a bike that would not be a good thing because I fall anyways but at least I have my arms to catch myself and if, if this happened on a bike and I was falling to the left, I have absolutely nothing to you know, try to break my fall with. On my shoulder I go, probably whack my head off the ground, whatever. I can't take that chance. And this summer as it is, I never touched my bike. I never went out once this year. I, I couldn't. It just wasn't in the cards for this year. So, I think my bike rides are a thing of the past. I believe this is the only year since I was a kid that I haven't rode my bike and that hurts but I can't do it I can't do it right so in the next little while I'm just gonna it's just kind of relax and just see how things go and uh, basically contemplate my life I want to see what I can do to simplify things and I, I have a lot of thinking to do and I don't want any distractions or anything so I'm going to take a break from my videos put myself even farther behind you know, I'm, I'm trying to catch up and it's not working <laughs> but there's a period of time, like since I've been here, there's a whole lot that I haven't really done. So there's not a whole lot of video for this time period in this last nine months. I do have things that I can do. That's a really interesting fire department radio calls.
I don't want it to go. But I don't want to skip anything because anybody in the future seeing my channel, they're going to see everything in order and they're not going to know it. it's a year behind, right? <laughs> so eventually once I get caught up, I, I want to do things current. I don't like being this far back. It confuses people. You know, they think this is what's happening now and it's actually that's what happened last year. So I'd like to do things current. And this is current. This is November 7th that I'm recording this. But I don't want to abbreviate anything either. Uh, basically right now, with all the stuff that was happening last year at this time, uh, one day is one video basically. And there are some things that I can do. I can incorporate into other videos so I can do several days at once. But for the most part right now, it's one day is, or one video covers one day as so much has happened. So, I don't know. But I, I need to take a break for a little bit. It's not that it's difficult to do the videos. I just need time to concentrate on, on myself. I am very, very self-aware at this moment. Uh, it was uh, <laughs> what I would like to call a mortality moment. It just kind of brings you back to earth and just reminds you that every day is a gift. You just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So, I've already kind of thought this way before. And some of the things I do, I say, why am I doing this? I'm never going to use this in the future. I'm wasting time on it and stuff. So I kind of got to take a look at that and see if there's other things that I can cut out of my life just to simplify things and make things a whole lot less stressful. Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I did want to ask one question though. My videos right now, I, I, I try not to make them long, but they end up being long. I, I'm trying to cover everything that happens in one day in one video so I don't get two videos of the same day spread out over four days because right now I'm uploading a video every four days but are people actually watching the full length? Now I look at my analytics and the average is about half so my question is those of you who watch my videos regularly does it matter? Do you mind the longer videos that cover a lot? Or should I break it up in like 10, 15 minutes and maybe upload more than just every four days? I don't know. Because I, I dropped down to the four days because I needed time to get caught up on everything. And that seems to be working. Like everything else, that is. But if nobody's watching the videos, the full length of the videos, what's the point, right? <laughs> So I just kind of like your opinion. Would you like to see shorter videos more often? Because if they're shorter, it won't take me as long to work on them. And the rendering, I usually do that when I'm asleep. When I'm, the video's ready to go, I'll let it render overnight. And by the time I wake up, it's ready to go. But if the video's half as long, it'll only take half as long to render. And it, it should be easier that way. I'd have to experiment. But I just wonder what your opinions are what you would prefer to actually see. Um, the way I'm doing my intros and my credits right now that doesn't really seem to be appropriate for a shorter video because combine the two together <laughs> and it's almost as long as the video itself. So if you have any suggestions on and maybe I changes I could make that way. to say but I'm gonna finish the video that I'm working on now I still got another full-length video um, I'm not gonna finish it right away but I am gonna finish it as is the one that kind of working on because I'm halfway through it anyways and I really don't want to restart I, I have a real hard time restarting things but I'm not sure I'm gonna take a break I'm not sure how long But I might 
just kind of work on things a little bit at a time and maybe have a bunch of videos ready to go and just do kind of a, a trial period I guess and the nice thing about YouTube is you can upload as many videos as you want and you can set them to go public on specific dates and specific times which is the way I've been doing it because there's no guarantee I'm going to be up at noon at any day so I just set it up as I can't even think of the word now schedule, that's it and you pick the time and day and that's what I do whatever the fourth day is and I set it to go public at 12 p.m. my time Eastern Standard Time and that's what happens it just kind of automatically pops in so I, I got a lot to really think about a lot of decisions to make I'm not going to stop doing videos don't worry about that I won't be stopping but I just need to figure out a lot of things and this latest problem has really <laughs> opened my eyes at this moment I'm kind of afraid to do anything there isn't a whole lot I can do with the monster right now I have to take the batteries out I didn't want to have to do that but I'm gonna have to because I need I need access to the center frame here I'm not sure that's just something I shouldn't even have to do I have an idea how I'm going to fix the front to keep the bumper from bending forward if it hits something and I have an idea for mud flaps on the front I got my new ball joints I got new tires for the front but I'm going to wait till spring to put them on I'm just going to put my off-road tires on for the winter uh, what else? <laughs> I'll get to it when the videos catch up to it but this problem with the controller is just mind-boggling oh, everybody keeps asking me says have you had to change the uh, controller yet not yet that didn't last long <laughs> so I'm doing all this work on it and I, I ask myself is it really worth it it just will dry for six months and then something else major is going to happen, you know. But at the moment, I don't have a choice. I've still got four years to pay for this. I guess three and a half now. So I have to fix it. I don't have a choice. But it seems every time it breaks down, another thousand dollars minimum. And it's just crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, and it's stupid, stupid things. And like you say, with the controller, it's just, it's mind-boggling. So, but, as my update, I just wanted to let you know what's going on. And I'm going to take a quick break. But you can always comment on the video if you want to see what's happening or you can go to Facebook my link is in the description and just kind of see how things are going I don't post a whole lot on Facebook but once in a while I do and it's I'm there uh, not sure what else to say so like to thank everybody for enjoying my videos. I get a lot of positive comments. Um, I don't even think I get that many dislikes. <laughs> I don't see them very often, which is pretty cool. But I know not everybody you know, is into the type of videos that I do. It, so that's fine. I don't mind at all. And I don't mind negative comments as long as they're clean. You know, I don't. Sorry, my mind just went blank.
if they're helpful comments, critique, I can deal with that. <clears throat> I don't mind if they're hateful and really, really inappropriate. And just, what's the point? Why do people do that? I don't get it, but, you know, it's YouTube. People think they're anonymous. They don't know me, they don't have to say anything to me face to face, so they say whatever they want, whatever they feel. It's it's hurtful for sure, but you know, I don't see the point in doing that. I couldn't do that to somebody else. Um I can't even think of an example. But it's just to me it's a moral issue. Yeah, I just I have a conscience. That's all I can say. So couple negative comments from somebody back and forth conversation between me and them it, it's funny any more than that it, they're a troll that's how I see it they just they just want to pick a fight just want to cause problems for somebody I got too many problems in my life already I don't need that crap so that's a good way to get blocked I just I won't deal with it I got more important things to do than fight over some stupid issue, somebody's opinion is different than mine or something, so, I don't know. But anyways, I gotta go inside, get some shivering, I'm sitting on the concrete floor. <laughs> Landlord's working on the garage door again, I can't open it, and I can't get the scooter back in the garage, so it's perked out back. Uh, so, I don't really have anything to sit on to talk, because I wanted to show the monster in the background here, too. So I'm just kind of sitting on the floor. So, thank you for everybody. Uh, those that remain faithful. I watch all my videos all the time and comment all the time. It's very much appreciated. Uh, doing these videos for you guys. I'm not making the videos for you. I'm making them for my protection. But I'm posting them, editing them, posting them for you guys to enjoy. Because I know there are people out there that do like them. So, a lot of work, but that's okay. I don't mind. I enjoy them. So, thank you again, and I guess I'll see you in a bit.